Hey guys, it's Scribble No More here, and this is my very first, um, this is my very first episode, so I'm really excited. Um, let me tell you what Scribble No More is and what it means. Scribble No More is a how to draw channel where you post what you want to learn how to draw in the comments, and then I will look over the comments, and I will click out each comment one by one, and I will do a drawing tutorial on what that thing is. But the thing is, you have to be really specific about the comments, or else I won't know what you want to draw. Like, if you just say wolf, I won't know whether to draw a realistic wolf or a cartoon wolf. I won't know whether to draw just its head or its body. I won't know if it's an arctic wolf um, or a timber wolf. And so that makes it really difficult for me to know what it is. Um... And if it's, like, there are tons of different kinds, like, dragon or something, you have to say, like, water dragon or fire dragon or whatever. And, yeah, that's what Scribble No More is about. So, let's say, for example, somebody wanted to draw a... Somebody wanted to draw, like, a rubber duck. Well, so... Here's what we'd start with. First of all, we'd start with a light sort of circle like this. It is going to be wide. It's going to be quite wide, like this, about this size. And then you're going to draw another circle right here for its body. But it's going to be thin. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to bring it forward a little bit, and then do that. So there's a line running through right here. And then, let's erase this small part, these small parts right here, because you want it to kind of be going straight. Because this is where he's going to be floating in the water. And then you're going to draw a small, thin oval right here. And that is going to be his tail. You might want to make the end a little wider, like a triangle or something like that. So first what we're going to do, we're going to start off with this face right here. Now, if you want a little fluff on the top, you're going to have to do this. Go up, and then that, and then do that. Make a small line coming down, and then... The little fluff right here. So it looks like that. Kind of like two spikes. Like two little spikes right there. And then what you're going to do, his face is not going to be like directly that way, but it's going to be turning in a little bit. So what you're going to do, you're going to draw one eye right here. Nice solid line. Then you're going to draw another one right here. Wait, let's make some guidelines first. Sorry, I forgot. Those are his guidelines. Okay, here's what you're going to do for the eye. You're actually going to make that one smaller so you know that it's kind of off to the side in the distance or something. No, that still looks bigger. So you know that it's off to the side, off to the side, or in the distance. Because that visual, that really gives a visual effect. If you still can't get that one the right size, try making the other one a little bigger. So you know that it has really big eyes. Now, if you want just solid black eyes, you're going to color them in black. If you want some shine, just put keep a little white circle in the corner. Well, not the corner, but somewhere around the edge of the circle. Now... I'm going to do not solid black eyes, but eyes, like, that are looking down. They're not going to be looking straight forward or right at you, because I, personally, I think that's a little creepy. But who cares? <laughs> it's your opinion. It's just my opinion. We all have different opinions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little shine right at the edge, and then I'm going to color the pupil in. You don't have to color it in if you don't want a pencil look. And then I'm going to color this in a little bit, the iris. The iris is the colored part of your eye, just in case you didn't know. And then it's going to look like this. 
And then what you're going to do, you're going to start on the beak. First, you're going to make a line that goes up towards the eyes and then comes back down again, kind of like a low hill. Next, you're going to continue that line just a little bit, like one or like a centimeter or something. And then you're going to make it go down and straight around and then back. And then you're going to add some little nostrils right there. And then what you're going to do, it's going to kind of curve down like it's connected to it. And then it's going to go like that. And then you have his head. But here's what you've got to do. You've got to make it, you've got to make it a little wider and then stop. Because then that's where the neck is going to be. You want the neck coming over here a little bit, connecting to the body. And then you want it behind that line, and you want it connecting to the body. If the neck looks a little too tall, like I just did, try making it shorter and the body bigger. Like this. This part's fine, but this part's a little too long. So we're gonna, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to draw some larger guidelines. And then it connects to the body so it's not as big. Now, you see this guideline right here? We're going to start on the wing. Since this is the neck, we're going to start the wing. So you're going to make it a little shorter than right here. And you're going to continue it and stop somewhere around the middle. And then what you're going to do, you're going to curve around and then do it again. And keep continuously do that until you meet this line. Don't actually do it. Make each one a little shorter than the other. So if you put a line around it to touch the edge, it'll be curved like that. And next what you're going to do, you're going to draw some layered feathers. And some more. But you don't want to add too many because then it'll look too real. This is a rubber duck. So it'll be somewhere like this. And then draw little lines so you know that they're feathers. And that's the middle. And then, there you go. You got the wing. Now, you don't have to, but um, I'm not going to, but you can add feet if you want. And now, keep the body going, and then stop right about here. And then, you're actually going to make it a little softer right there, because it's going to be underwater. And then go back to your regular thick line, but only do a little bit, because your tail is right here, and it's going to be connecting. So what you're going to do is start from the bottom. Actually, don't do that. What you're going to do is you're automatically going to come up as soon as it emerges from the water. And then you're going to make the tail like this, and then do this. Make it come out like that. And then there you got your actual rubber duck. Actually, now that I think about it, we should add tiny feet. But they shouldn't be too real. You want to just, like, curve these down. Make it a little wider at the end. So you can see I'll move the camera back. And then you're just going to add, like, little bumps. About three or four. I like three better. And then you might want to do the back foot, too. Make it a little shorter so you know it's in the distance. And then, where the line's kind of fainter, you're going to draw some water. You don't have to draw it in the same style that I did. You can do it a little more realistic. Um, and to make it look even better and more... Um, actually, if you want, you don't have to. But I'm going to draw some ripples. I'm not very good at drawing ripples, so don't judge me. And you're just going to draw little lines around him. Don't go through his actual body because that part's not in the water. But you can go through this all you want. And then, if you want, you can draw like little waves in the background. Connect like it's in a bathtub. Um, and then, once you're done with that, there you have it. You have your rubber duck. And this is what I'm going to be doing each time. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. 
I hope I get some good. Yeah, I hope I get some good comments. Cause I I really don't like bad comments. Cause I hate being criticized. And smash that like button. Like boom. Like do it as many times as you want. I think you're only able to do it once though. Maybe log on with all your different accounts. If like create tons of accounts and then like it. Um, each time. And I loved this. I enjoyed making this video. And I hope you did. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.